want to talk to you about forms of ownership. Whenever you buy real property, or in fact, whenever you start a business, you have a choice to make. You can either go it alone and be a sole proprietor, and you can own it by yourself, or you can have partners. Now, it's important for me for you to think about the differences in sole ownership, a sole proprietor, or when you take uh, on partners and, uh, and own it that way. So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, speaking from experience, I can tell you I like partnerships, but you have to be very careful. A partnership to me gives you the advantage of getting somebody else's expertise that you may not have or somebody else's resources that you may not have. Uh, maybe that uh, maybe your two together uh, make a better team than either one of you separately. So I think that's an advantage that, uh, that a partnership. It's somebody to share the liabilities and somebody to share the successes. Going it alone also has its advantages. It's a lot more flexible. You can sell it uh, whenever you want. You can expand when you want. So a lot less accountability on that. So that can be good and that can be bad. Well, it's pretty easy uh, if you want to be a sole proprietor. Okay, so there's not much choice there. Let's talk about if you want a partnership. Now we have a lot of choices. How we place entities when we buy real property. Those are the things I really want you to look at in this chapter. So those are the things I want to talk about. I look forward to doing so.